Hello. So I'm going to answer a question today that gets asked often um, on our circle of team Beachbody coaches and in our team um, as well. The question is, where do you find information so that you're constantly posting on social media? Where and how do you connect with others? And what's the purpose? Like, what's the goal, right? So the goal here today is I want to share with you something that you may hear a lot of people speak about if it's about network marketing, um, which is called the word brand yourself. So you're like, yeah, but I'm not a product, right? Like I don't, I'm not up for sale. That's true. You're not up for sale, but you are in the business of helping people. And in order for you to help people, you want to find a way to connect with them. The way we connect with others is by being ourselves. We have to be who we are, not nobody else. So being a copy, a carbon copy of someone else won't be helpful. You need to be who you are and be okay with that. Um, you want to share your voice, um, share your story. I know a lot of us think we don't have a story, but I'm going to go over a few ideas that will help you discover what your story is. Um, and the other part is you want to attract people that resemble who you are or who you want to become. So in order for you to do this, there's there needs to be something that you do before anything else because nobody's going to do this job for you. It has to be done by you. And um, I'm going to make it short so that you can actually take the time and figure out who you are and write down the definitions of what defines you as a person. So I'll give you an example. I'm Unidis, right? But if you break Unidis apart, I am a woman in my third, late 30s going into my 40s. So that's not just that I'm a woman. I'm, I'm specific. I'm a woman in my late 30s, almost getting into my 40s. I am a mom. A mom of what? I have a boy with special needs. I have a daughter who's seven years old. So I'm a mom of two, right? Um, and I am very specific about their age because that has to do a lot with my stage in life. Um, I'm a wife. Who am I married to? Am I married to my sweetheart? How, lo how long have I been married with him? Um, what are some obstacles that I've been able to overcome with my husband? Um, what are some things that define us as a couple, right? So all of that goes in that spectrum of your being a wife. Then I'm a faithful believer. So what? Everybody else is. Everybody else calls themselves a Catholic, a Christian, a born again, an, an atheist. People have certain creeds. What sets you apart? What makes you different? What do you do with that faith? Are you looking to deepen your faith? Are you looking to share your faith? Are you looking to have a voice against that other faith? Whatever it is, that's who you are. Um, so I'm a mother, a wife, a faithful believer. I have a I had a job like I had a career I am trained as a teacher as an educator so I have certain thoughts I have certain things that I think about certain things that move me certain things that make me who I am right so I look at things from the angle many times from a teacher's perspective what kind of job do you hold what have you done all your life make a list of that and in that job what makes you stand out? Are you responsible? Are you organized? Are you um, the one that people count on for being early all the time? Are you a latecomer? Are you the one that people can find by the water cooler chilling and you know chatting with everybody? Are you the social butterfly at work? All those things define who you are. Are you the jokester? Are you the one who plays the pranks in your office? That makes you who you are. I'm a daughter. A daughter of who? Am I a daughter of a mom and a dad? Did my, are my parents both alive? Um, how old are my parents? How much do they need me? 
Am I their caretaker? Am I um, the one who drives them? What do I do with my parents? Um, I am a friend. When I think about my friends, what do my friends say about me? How do my friends define me? When I'm with my friends, what kind of characteristics come out of me? Am I the Am I the one that is always giving advice? Am I like the parent role in my friends? Am I the responsible one? Am I the one that my friends have to call on to like, you know, keep them accountable? Um, am I the wise one in my friend group? Am I the, the called, like everybody, you know, respects me because I'm like the older figure? Who am I? I am a sister, but I'm not just a sister. I am a middle child. So you know what they say about middle children. It's, yeah, leave that up to you. Um, but are you, what number in your family do you fall under? Like, um, what stigma do you carry because you are that number child? Um, I, I am a member of my community. What are some things that piss me off in my neighborhood? What are some things that I wish could change in my area or where I grew up in? If I grew up in the projects, was I one of those people who hated when I passed by others and they were sitting at the stoops doing nothing? That all defines who you are. So I want you to make a list today only. Just focus on who am I? Who am I? And all those little things that we never stop to really think about, who am I? Do you play a sport? Okay, you play, maybe you play soccer, maybe you play basketball, maybe you swim, maybe you hate sports, maybe you've never liked active, um, you know, um, hiking in the mountains, maybe you never liked skiing, maybe, I don't know, maybe you were forced to do these things and now you choose not to. Who are you? Write it down. Write it down. And before I was going to close the video, but before that, let me just ask you, in order for us to continue, please comment below and write a list of who you are. But I don't want to hear that you're a daughter, a woman, a mom, and I don't want to hear that you're a wife. I don't want to hear that you're a friend. I want more. I want more. So write down who you are with your specific attributes. What sets you apart?